This is Mark Hahn from Graphic Arts Advisors for WhatTheyThink.com. I'm here today to talk about uh, valuation, at least a couple aspects about uh, commercial printing and how commercial printers can build value in their company, positioning the company for an eventual sale or, or, or exit for the owner from the company. And one of the things that, that really builds value in a company is barriers to entry for the competition. So, um, as a former owner of a commercial printing company, this is something we struggled with all the time, is how do we do something that somebody else doesn't do? So, uh, and one of the examples that I came across in the last year uh, was a company that delivers, that prints promotional products for food, uh, for sampling food, new products that, that are being introduced into the grocery market. And as time went on, they found that their customers wanted them to actually deliver the samples of the food along with the, the end cap that goes at the end of the aisle, the, the shelf talker that goes on the shelf, the dangler that goes on the shelf, all those things that retail environments have that are printed. And this printer installed the refrigerator and a freezer in order to accommodate their customer. And I would just ask you, if you're the printer down the street, the job shop commercial printer, and you're quoting against that printer who's put a refrigerator and a freezer in, how do you compete with that printer? That's a barrier to entry that adds value whenever it's time to exit the company. Another example I came across recently, completely different than that, was a printer that uh, has focused somewhat on uh, government work, GPO work. And most printers I know, when they hear that, they, they just say, oh, that's low bid work, it's not a value. Uh, and in this particular example, it's the opposite was true. One of the things they did is they, they were certified at the higher level of quality within the GPO system. So right away, that knocked out most of the GPO printers that are able to bid on that, that project. So they created a barrier to entry or a certification level uh, that, that, that made it more difficult for other printers. So as they're quoting that job, they're really only competing against two or three other printers, not 20 printers or, or worse across the country. So that's a barrier of entry and that builds value into the company. And icing on the cake is sometimes those contracts are longer term and can build another aspect of value into the company, which is contractual work. If you have contractual work that you can prove to a prospective buyer that has life to it and will continue, that adds value to the company. So I find those things interesting when I see those in printing companies as I travel across the US and, and in Canada uh, with our practice at Graphic Art Advisors. This is Mark Hahn for, from Graphic Arts Advisors for whatTheyThink.com.